Hello friends, hope you all are fine. So friends, today I am going to discuss about lymph nodes, locations and functions. Lymph nodes are the organs responsible for the functioning of immune system. They are located in groups mostly in the neck, armpit, collarbone and groin. In this article, we will discuss the location and function of this immune system organ. Lymph nodes are small bean shaped organs of the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system circulates the interstitial fluid called lymph to the body cells and tissues. It also collects waste substances from the bloodstream. Lymph contains white blood cell WBC as its major components. It is more or less similar to the body blood plasma. Lymph nodes on the other hand are made up of various types of cells and tissues of which WBC and lymphoid tissues are more abundant. Location of lymph node The size of lymph glands in the adults is smaller as compared to those in children between the age group 10 to 12. Lymph node is located in the lymphatic system which is distributed throughout the body. It can be present independently in groups. About 500 to 600 lymph nodes are present in the human body. Groups of lymph nodes are present in the neck, collarbone, under the arms, armpit and groin. Following is the list of lymph nodes which they are placement in the body. Cervical lymph node. These lymph nodes are located in the head and neck region basically found deep in the neck, behind the ears and bottoms of the jaw. In totally, they are 6 in number. They draw lymph from the skull, face, nasal cavity and pharsnix. Supracalvicular lymph nodes situated along the collarbone or calvicle. They drain lymph from the parts of the collarbone and the upper nodes can also be considered a part of the cervical lymph node. Auxiliary lymph node. These nodes are present in the armpit area. They are divided into two types namely superficial and deep lymph nodes. They drain lymph from arm walls of thorax and breast. Mediastinal lymph node. They are present in the central part of the chest between the lungs. It drains from the middle section of the chest cavity parts of the upper abdomen and lungs. Supratrochular lymph nodes. These nodes are present on the arms just above the elbow joints. They drain from the fingers, hand on the ulnar side of the arm and superficial areas of forearm. Mesentric lymph nodes. Distributed in the lower abdomen, they lie close to the small intestine. They drain cecum, jejunum, elunum, colon and upper part of rectum. Inguinal lymph nodes. These nodes are located in the groin area. They may be superficial or deep lymph nodes. They receive lymph from the genital area, buttock, anus, abdominal, wall and legs. Femoral lymph nodes located in the upper thigh portion along the femoral veins. They are immediately below the inguinal lymph nodes. They drain from some of the genital parts, buttock, thigh and the medial side of the leg. Popliteal lymph nodes. These lymph nodes are present in the knee area called popliteal fossa. They are two sets of popliteal lymph nodes. Some are present beneath the popliteal fascia and some are found between the popliteal artery and the posterior surface of the knee joint. They drain from the knee, thigh, calf and feet. Limb collection and filtration. Limb is drained and collected from the adjoining parts of limb nodes to be more precious. The afferent lymphatic vessel deliver unfiltered body fluid to the limb node for filtration. These nodes act as filter for disease causing agents like bacteria, virus and other microorganisms, the foreign particles are the disease causing agents collected in the lymph nodes are then destroyed by the WBCs. The filtered fluid is collected by the different lymphatic vessels which then impact into the cardiac vascular system. Production of Antibodies According to medical studies, lymph nodes are the major sites for initiation of the autoimmune responses. Lymph nodes contain lymphocytes which is a type of WBC at the time of infection in response to the antigen, lymphocytes make antibodies which target the pathogens and destroy them. Due to this activity, there is an increase in the production of beta cells which results in salivary, inflamed, painful and sensitive nodes. 
Significant change in their size can be observed during mild infection like cold and life threatening condition like cancer. Many a time biopsy is conducted in order to diagnose a